Lots of celebrities have doppelgangers, but sometimes two stars look so similar that fans, paparazzi, and even other Hollywood celebs can't distinguish between them. Apparently, this happens a lot more often than you might think. Hey, how's it going? I'm your host, Bridget Shields, and let's take a look at the top 10 embarrassing times celebrities were mistaken for someone else. Number 10, Helen Hunt and Jodie Foster. As such big names in Hollywood, you'd think most fans would be able to tell the difference between these two powerhouse actresses. Unfortunately, for one barista, that wasn't the case. Helen took to Twitter to tell the story of the time she was mistaken for Jodie Foster at Starbucks. Apparently, she went to grab a coffee and after telling the barista her order, she asked if they needed her name. The barista then smiled and winked at her and said, we gotcha. So imagine Helen's surprise when she got her cup back, only to see the name Jodie Foster on the side. To make the whole thing even more embarrassing, Jodie's name was misspelt. But that wasn't the first time someone had mixed the two actresses up. In a 1994 interview on The Late Show with David Letterman, Helen spoke about the consequences of her rising fame and recalled the time she was checking out at a supermarket and the clerk decided not to charge her because he was a Jodie fan. Quote, he says, you're Jodie Foster. And I said, I'm actually not, thank you. And he said, no, you are. I know you are Jodie Foster. And she said, I'm begging you. I'm not, I'm really not. She eventually showed him her driver's license and so he decided to charge her after all. Number nine, Isla Fisher and Amy Adams. Back in 2017, Isla revealed on Jimmy Kimmel Live that none other than Lady Gaga mistook her for Amy at the annual Vanity Fair Oscar party. Quote, I was there all excited and dressed up at the bar and you know schmoozing with the showbiz types and the crowds parted and there was Lady Gaga and she's heading right towards me and she says thank you for your performance in American Hustle Amy and I was thinking oh my gosh it's Lady Gaga. I love her so much I don't want to tell her the truth so I just gracefully thanked her bowed my head but the situation became worse when Lady Gaga tried to talk about her performance and started pressing Isla for details. It was then that she considered telling the truth because she didn't want to be a liar. When suddenly she looks over her shoulder and sees the real Amy Adams. She then acts surprised and says, there's Isla Fisher. She's not even nominated for anything. What's she doing here? The whole story was hilarious considering that Lady Gaga never figured it out. And the two actresses have long been mistaken for each other. Number eight, Elizabeth Banks and Chelsea Handler. Appearing on Chelsea lately, the Hunger Games actress recalled being approached by a fan who thought she was Chelsea and decided not to tell him the truth. She said, I was sitting in Toronto and a guy walked up to me and said, oh my God, my girlfriend loves you. She would die if I didn't get your autograph. This is so exciting. He's like, I just love your books. I mean, my horizontal life. I was like, oh, he thinks he's meeting Chelsea Handler. I was like, it's nice to meet you. I couldn't ruin it for him. But Elizabeth insisted that she didn't mind the experience of pretending to be Chelsea and said that she was just hanging out, being Chelsea, drinking her vodka and having a good time. And the fan could not have been happy happier. So in the end, she was glad she played along and didn't disappoint him. The talk show host has also been mistaken for Elizabeth herself by none other than Bill O'Reilly at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. But Chelsea wasn't too pleased about the comparison because according to her, people always say they look alike, but Chelsea's obviously much older, despite them being the same age. So it's easy to see why she would be offended. Number seven, Theo James and James Franco. The Divergent star and the 127 Hours actor might as well be the same person. Person. The handsome British actor may have the same face of a Franco brother, but no, Theo James is a completely separate entity, although you wouldn't be the first to be confused. In fact, Theo told Hollywood.com that he was once approached by a paparazzo who thought he was James Franco. Apparently, they jumped out of the bushes and started snapping pictures of him. Then they started videotaping him and asking him questions. Theo was surprised, but he started to answer their inquiries. But just as he responded, they realized that he wasn't Franco and quickly lost interest. He said, it was fun to be human and to wave and be like, what's up, man? But he was like, where are you going? And I said, we're going to get some food. Why are you filming me? And he stopped and you could see he thought I was effing James Franco. Of course, James is a few years older than Theo, but they do share the same name. Also a striking physical resemblance. So it's easy to see why people still manage to confuse these two men. Number six, Zoe Deschanel and Katy Perry. As it turns out, back in the early 2000s, Katy Perry tricked a whole lot of bouncers. During an Instagram live video with Zoe Deschanel, Katie let it slip that back before she was an international pop icon, she used to pretend to be Zoe in order to get into clubs. She said, I have to admit something, Zoe. When I came to LA, I was pretty much a nobody, and you were just getting so huge at that time. It was like Zoe Deschanel ran the world. In that moment, I was so complimented to look like you. I went to the club a lot, and I wanted to get in the club, and I had no money, I had no clout, I had nothing. And sometimes I would pose as you to get into the club. The timeline does make sense because Zoe was famous 
famous long before Katie came around, as her role in the film Almost Famous catapulted her into the limelight in 2000. But when the pair finally met, the star of New Girl said she was super relieved because she thought Katy Perry was very pretty, so it was a compliment to be compared to her. Katie even apologized for her past behavior, saying, I'm sorry if I misrepresented you. I wanted to say that now. But it looks like it's all water under the bridge. Number five, Lucy Hale and Selena Gomez. The Pretty Little Liars star went on the talk and revealed just how often she gets mistaken for someone else. She said, When I was younger, it was a lot of Selena Gomez during her Wizards of Waverly Place days. There was a phase growing up, people thought I was her during the time she started dating Justin Bieber. They would try to take my phone and see if I was texting him. And I'm like, I'll try to take a picture with you to make your dreams come true if you think I'm Selena, but I'm not. What she's referring to is the incident she tweeted about in 2011, when a Bieber obsessed fan snatched her phone and tried to contact him. Lucy also recounted the airport incident, which was a time that an older lady at an airport asked for her picture, and at first she thought it was just because she recognized her from TV, but it turns out that wasn't the case at all. Quote, she started listing off all the projects that she liked of mine, and I quickly realized that she thought I was Selena, and I kind of just went with it because I didn't want to crush her dreams. So it's nice that she decided to play along and left Selena's fan feeling happy. Number four, Prince Harry and Ed Sheeran. The redhead Brits have been mistaken for each other so often that by now they're both in on the joke. But the most hilarious mix up story goes to Margot Robbie. She recounted the embarrassing moment on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in 2016. The Australian actress recalled how she met Harry during a party. Midway through making small talk with the Duke, she realized that he wasn't who she thought he was. She said, Actually, when I saw him in those glasses, I was like, Oh my god, I didn't know Ed Sheeran was at the party. And he was really offended. He was like, Shut up. Jimmy Fallon said in disbelief, What are you talking about? You don't know who Prince Harry is? He's the coolest. What was her excuse for the mix up? Well, she just said that he wasn't wearing a crown. But Ed and Harry both play into the comedy of it all. And when they made a video together for the World Mental Health Day, Ed said, People just don't understand what it's like for people like us. We're not gonna take this anymore. We are ginger and we're gonna fight. So at least they both have a sense of humor about the whole thing. Number three, Daniel Radcliffe and Elijah Wood. The star of Harry Potter and the star of Lord of the Rings are constantly mistaken for each other. And the two actors spoke about this as a part of Empire Magazine's joint interview with them celebrating their movie franchises turning 20. Daniel explained, If you come up and say, are you Elijah Wood? I'll say, no, and I won't tell you who I am. He also shared a funny story about an occasion where he was mistaken for Elijah, but because of a language barrier, he signed the autograph anyway. Quote, I was once on a red car carpet in Japan, and a photo of you was thrust at me. My first instinct was to say, oh, I'm not, so I can't, but I thought the language barrier would be too much, so the quickest way to deal with it was to just write, I am not Elijah Wood, sign Daniel Radcliffe, and then hope somebody translated that for him later. And as for why they're mistaken, well, the Harry Potter star says it's cause the idea of us is the same. We're both short guys with blue eyes and brown hair, and we did fantasy movies that came out around the same time, which is clearly the case because despite the slight age difference, their similarity is striking. Number two, Eva Longoria and Kim Kardashian. While these two have wildly different careers, Eva is a talented actress while Kim Kardashian is a reality TV star, both pubs have brought them to fame and success in Hollywood. Not only that, but the friends look strikingly similar. In fact, it has long been said that Eva looks more like Kim's sister than any of the other Kardashians. But unfortunately, not everyone knows who they are well enough to keep from publicly mistaking one woman for the other. One of the people to confuse Eva and Kim was Brett Michaels in 2013. In a cringe inducing birthday tweet, he decided to wish Eva a happy birthday and sent out a sweet message to the actress. But much to his embarrassment, he ended up including a picture of him and Kim posing together when she climbed aboard his tour bus after the singer headlined a charity concert in Orlando. Brett told Us Weekly about the moment and revealed that the two of them had a 10 minute conversation, saying, I admire her beauty. She's got one of the prettiest faces ever. Sometimes you see someone and then you see them in person and it's not quite the same. She was very beautiful in person. So despite the awkward mistake, he was clearly happy that he took the photo with Kim in the first place. And coming in at number one, Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon. Although these two are only a year apart in age, they're both big names in Hollywood that most fans are dying to meet. Unfortunately, one unlucky fan managed to get these two leading men confused. Mark told the story of the confusion by sharing a screenshot from the excited fan. The fan was of course thrilled to meet one of their idols and snapped a picture with Mark, all while screaming, Matt Damon! But instead of correcting the 
the confused fan, he just played along and posed for the photo. Although you can only imagine how embarrassed they would have been once they realized their mistake, the Ted star told Extra that he just started going along with it. Quote, People always say they love me in the Born Identity, and I just say thank you. I got another one coming out soon. Watch me in the Born Identity 4. He went on to say that Matt gets it all the time too, and that both of them just laugh it off and never bother correcting anyone. Which makes sense because it really does happen often. Which makes sense because if it really does happen often, he doesn't want to have to correct people over and over, especially if they get worried that he's offended when clearly that's not the case at all. That's it for this list. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.